What's the crack? Welcome to today's episode. My name is David Kelly, I'm the Irish Guy Vlogs, and in today's episode I'm going to be doing a tour of my room. I'm going to be showing you around the room where I do most of my vlogs now, because a lot of them actually take place in my room, a lot of them get edited here, and yeah, I just kind of want to show you around, because this is like now my main kind of setup place, I guess, because it's featured in a lot of my videos. I will be venturing outdoors again and doing other kinds of videos and things like that, but I'm just kind of planning them and they are in the works and they're coming. You might have noticed that my background has changed a little bit. I've tidied it up because it was pretty messy in other videos. And I've just kind of put in some stuff that I've collected over the years, things that I love, things that influence me, and they've just kind of tidied up the room a little bit. I've, I've got the filmmaking side here, so I've got my camera and I've got my kind of pop culture references and stuff here. Isn't that what YouTubers do? Don't they like fill up their backgrounds with pop culture reference stuff? But it's stuff that I like stuff that has influenced me and uh, yeah I just want to give you a tour around my room and just introduce you to it I guess maybe it'll give you a better idea of who I am and uh, yeah so let's do it so I guess I'll give you a quick look around <laughs> quick kind of panoramic of the entire room oh the light yeah this is my this is my room set up and stuff uh, <laughs> this is my door I don't really know what to say about it oh look at this picture <laughs> uh, it's me when I was 10, I was taken over in America by my aunt Colleen and uh, yeah she's a professional photographer and you know she just captured those chubby cheeks just perfectly. This is the past that I have from Oxygen 2004, I still have the glow stick, <laughs> still have the glow stick, it's like 15 years ago and I still have it and it was like one of the best, best weekends of my life, it was awesome, it was really really good. And I have some great memories from that. I guess these are the things in that I, I brought in that I own and just, you know, things that I have certain memories tied to. And, and some of them are a little bit nerdy, like, like this. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. This is the penny passport. So anywhere I go and I find one of those penny machines, I get like, <laughs> I put a penny into it. So there's ones there from California, uh, Route 66, Germany, uh, Amsterdam, Hoover Dam, places like that. And I have, like, I have so many more places to go to. This is only like the start of my collection, but I want to collect way more. And I know it's like super nerdy, but I love this. <laughs> but I don't mind showing it because like, you know, I, I came out of the nerd closet years ago. My room wouldn't be complete without the Beatles. And this is like a holographic image, so I'm not sure if it'll work here. But you meant to see them walking. To walk a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. You can And I guess you just have like things like the DeLorean from Back to the Future, Futurama, like the Planet Express ship, which is one of my favourite shows of all time. So cool to have this. And I love it. Johnny Five from uh, Short Circuit. I bought this over in California last year. It was kind of expensive. <laughs> I think they saw me coming, but uh yeah, I think it's awesome. It's made up from like old used parts from bikes and cars and stuff. What else have I got? Yeah. Hellboy uh, Money Bank, which I don't use for money. Hellboy is like one of my favorite graphic novels. This as well is uh, from the Blue Man Group when I went to see him in Las Vegas last year. That was really, really cool. Uh, this was Cecilia's drink and I just kept this as a cheap souvenir, I guess. But uh, I think it's cool. We actually got to meet the Blue Man Group as well after. And uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. So I have lots of different like stuff here, but I have lots of memories tied to them as well, which I guess, uh, which which I guess most people have, you know. But it's kind of it's for me, this is more personal than it might look because a lot of the different things in here I've collected for certain reasons or because they've influenced me in certain ways or, you know, like Flat Eric from the Levi's advert back in the '90s, really influential on my life <laughs> for absolutely no reason <laughs> other than he's cool and it was funny. Of course, you got the Terminator skull because Terminator is awesome. Uh, I've got my pocket operator, and this is probably the nerdiest thing that I'm gonna show you but this is my rock collection and we've got some ammonites and trilobites uh, this is like a big chunk of emerald you can see it, the green out there we've got a geode we've got some azurite we've got some other rocks and gems and uh, Frodo is guarding them all Frodo is like the guardian I will protect <laughs> yes I will protect them I will watch over them like they were my own precious stones or something here you have a shark tooth, a mackerel shark. It's absolutely cool. Ooh, little chunk taken out of it there. But it's like, what's it say? 60 million years old. That's that's an old tooth. I don't really, this is kind of like everything I own basically, you know? Uh, other than my computer and stuff, and my phone. But I'll move on to some other things. I'll move on to other things. 
so this is the filmmaking section of my room this is my camera and this is my baby it's my baby so I've got a little shoulder rig so just pops on my shoulder I can change lenses on it and stuff and it's a black magic pocket cinema camera it actually has dust all over it I love this camera so much just the quality of it's amazing and I think you can see now why I don't vlog with that camera <laughs> because it's just gigantic and impossible to use as a vlog camera but uh, then we have my other baby which is my guitar I've had this since I was 16 bought it on the day of my 16th birthday it was like 115 pounds and uh, yeah I've been playing it ever since I, I had another guitar I had like another Tanglewood that I bought but I only kept it for about a year I prefer this one for no other reason than it was my first and there's like a really good sound out of it so I'll move on to these now uh, so I went to Comic Con in Dublin back in 2014 I think it was maybe 2015 and I got to meet David Lloyd the uh, the illustrator of V for Vendetta which was like a great moment because he was really really nice and he drew this picture specifically for me he was drawing pictures for everyone else that just were generic but because I stopped and chatted to him for a few minutes he, he gave me this kind of personal picture and that was really really cool and this as well I really really do love Futurama it was uh, signed by Billy West and it was one of the quotes from, uh, from the show and it was great to meet him as well at Comic Con and uh, yeah it was just another really cool so I got these framed because uh, I just thought they were awesome and I'm gonna hang them on my wall one of those when I talk about prize possessions you know like I really really love my camera I love my guitar like I love all these things but this this is probably what I love the most Beatles albums I know like they're reprints but they're just so so cool They're all still in their, their cellophane and I just love look this is like my favorite one I love looking at Sgt. Pepper's and uh, seeing all the different uh, all the different references and clues if that's what you believe in and just general coolness and then we have the bed which is just a standard bed uh, oh, well this pulls out so you can make it into like a double bed if you want which is which is handy uh, and I got that from Ikea <laughs> almost everything in here is actually from Ikea this dresser, the bed, even the counter is from Ikea. The lamp, my touch lamp, it's got wireless charging on there. Even like the, <laughs> the lampshade, which I haven't showed yet, which is really cool. It's like the dead star opening up. It's like completely over the top. It's like not something that I'd normally have, but when I saw it, I was like, that is so cool. And I love it. So uh, yeah, thanks Ikea. And this then is my PC. I guess this is probably the most important part of my vlogging setup because this is where everything goes to, you know, be finished and edited and put together and made sense of, I guess. So two monitors, fancy keyboard, fancy flashy keyboard, and I have my PC. I don't really want to go through all the specs. It's fast. It's like 32 gigs of RAM, eight gigabyte graphics card, uh, water cooled, fancy motherboard, solid state drives, blah de blah whatever, there's like, it's great, I love it, I call it white lightning. And around the front I've got like my Xbox controller and it sticks on here with little magnetic thingies so I can put it anywhere I want, just take it off whenever I need it, it's really really cool. I love this PC, I had to take a loan out to, to pay for it and I'm actually still paying off that loan and like I don't really mind because it was totally worth it and I absolutely love it. And I built it myself a while ago back. It's the first and only PC that I've ever built, but I do want to build more. Like when I get my next PC, I'm going to build it again. But I might keep parts from this and like swap certain things over. But, uh, but yeah, it was pretty successful. And that's kind of it really. Like I don't really know, like I don't really have anything else to, to show. Other than a lot of books actually, I have a lot of books. Here's like a quarter of my books I'd say. So you have like a lot of comedy books, Douglas Adams, Frankie Boyle. Uh, Terry Pratchett, Roger Marx, Billy Connolly, Charlie Brooker, uh, Monty Python, Errol Hanlon, Steve Martin. I'm really big into stand-up comedy. I have the X-Files and then both the Twin Peaks books, the final dossier and stuff like that, which are really, really good. I love reading and uh, I don't I don't really do enough of it. I really should do more. Here in the corner I've got some light stands and I've got my steady cam so I can put like a fancy camera on this and get really, really steady shots. I'm going to be using that in uh, the next short film that I make, so that's going to be cool. There's little things here that I just love, like the DeLorean, so cool, Planet Express ship, like, there's lots of little things here that kind of make up who I am. I don't really have anything else to show you, this is kind of everything I own, my PC, my guitar. Yeah, I just wanted to do a quick tour of my room just to show you around, give you a kind of better idea of my influences and just a better idea of me in general because these things kind of make up who I am a little bit. In a way, I know they're possessions and stuff like that, but you know, if you were to look through them, you'd kind of get a better idea 
of who I am, what I'm into, things like that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. I make new videos every Friday, 4 o'clock, and uh, yeah. And now I'm just rambling, and I will leave you alone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next Friday with another video. Thanks for joining me on my tour. I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, take it easy. Bye.